Today we're going to take a look at the switch itself, the safety flag operating handles, how the operation of the switch is performed, and then we're going to show how to operate this device from outside the manhole using a hot stick. So let's start by taking a look at the Trayer safety flag handle. These are the handles that operate the load brake switches inside the stainless steel tanks. Notice that the Trayer safety flag handle is not a flat bar. It's a formed piece of stainless steel channel. At the end of the channel is the operating hole. The reason that we form a channel for our handle is so that the lip of the channel acts to guide your hot stick into the operating hole. We call it a safety flag handle because down against the tank is the closed position, out away from the tank is the open position, and it will always be the same on each piece of trayer switch gear. The handle being visible in this fashion makes it easy for a lineman to spot the position of each switch from a distance. The trayer load brake switch mechanism is a very simple but very powerful device. It requires substantial force to operate the switch mechanism. The heavy die spring driven toggle requires that the linkage be slotted so that the toggle can fly over top dead center and not be felt in the operating handle. The free play in the handle at both the open and closed position is simply that slotted linkage and should be of no concern. When the switch operates, it does so in a very, very solid fashion. We provide padlock provisions for both the open and the closed position. Also, in some configurations, you will find two operating handles very close to one another. In order to avoid your hook stick picking up both handles at the same time, we make one handle longer than the other. Now, I'm going to move an elevated platform to behind this switch and use a hot stick from up above to simulate operating this switch gear while it's down in a manhole. When operating trayer switch gear from outside the manhole, be certain to use a hot stick long enough to provide a substantial purchase on the switch operating handle. To find the handle, simply locate the switch tank lid near the handle you wish to operate. Slide your hook stick across the tank until you feel it make contact and lift up and engage the handle's returned edge. Follow that edge up the handle and the hook stick will naturally find the operating hole. This is very different from competitive pieces of switch gear that simply use a casted bronze ring. Pull the switch handle open or push the switch handle closed. The operation is nearly identical when using an articulated hook. Again, you simply find the top of the tank near the handle that you want to operate. Locate the handle and lift up slightly on your hook until it slides across. When you feel it engage the handle's returned lip, you can walk up the handle until your hook finds the operating hole. If you wish, you can engage your hook to the closed position and then operate the switch handle. To find a switch for the closing, <clears throat> the expansion chamber is an easy place to start. Finding the switch operating handle with your hook and walking up the handle until you locate the hole. As you can see, Operating trayer switch gear is simple and it's safe. We appreciate you taking the time and the effort to watch this training video and we wish you all the success. Thank you to all of us here at Trayer Engineering.